Hello everyone, this is Deaconess Margaret and we're here with today's Sunday School lesson, this week's Sunday School lesson. Last week you got to watch a video from uh, Superbook. Uh, I used to watch that when I was a kid. It was on on Saturday mornings and I always enjoyed it. I hope you did too. You were learning about Gideon. This week we're going to learn about Samuel. Uh, this is from Samuel, 1 Samuel. Chapters 1 through 3. So if you want to look up the whole and most accurate account, you can look it up there. So Samuel was the son of a lady named Hannah. But before Hannah had Samuel, um, she was a very sad lady. So there's Hannah. She's very sad. Why was she sad? Because she didn't have any children. There was nobody like you at her house running around outside or picking flowers for her or enjoying their favorite meal that she made or singing songs that she could hear uh, their voices and everything. She was very sad. She didn't have her own children. Well, one day she went to the temple uh, the temple is kind of like church, not quite the same thing. We don't bring animals for the pastor to put on the altar um, like they did back um, in temple times, but uh, they still heard the word of God and um, heard about the forgiveness of sins, uh, which are some the most important things that we get at church. So she went up to the temple and she was praying. She was praying asking God to give her a child. And that day, uh, there was a priest. A priest is kind of like a pastor. Um, and he saw her praying, and she was praying so hard that she wasn't saying anything out loud. It would be as if I were to just start doing this. And uh, the priest was a little nervous about that. He uh, said, hey, what are you doing? Why are you, why can I not hear you? What's going on? And uh, she said, I am praying earnestly to the Lord. I really want a child. And the priest said, I really hope that happens for you. So God heard her prayers. He always hears our prayers, no matter how he answers them, just so you know. But God heard her prayers and he gave her a little boy. So now Hannah was very happy. She had promised, though, that um, she would give her little boy or her little girl, whichever she had, and in this case she had a little boy, to the service of God once he got to be old enough. And so one day she brought her little boy, whom she named Samuel, to the temple, and he would work with Eli in the temple and serve God in that way. So here's Eli and Samuel, and then Hannah went home, leaving Samuel to live and work and serve God at the temple. She came every year with a new a set of clothing for him, a tunic is what they called it. That's what they wore back then. Um, but for the most part, he was at the temple with Eli and other people that worked there. Well, one day, as Samuel got a little bit older, so he's a little bigger now, he and Eli went to bed for the night. Eli was in one room and Samuel was in another, and they were both asleep. can see my awesome drawing skills. <laughs> I was never super good in art. I always enjoyed it, but never super good in art. Anyway, he had gone to sleep and all of a sudden a voice woke him up and that voice just plain said, Samuel. Now Samuel wasn't necessarily always used to getting woken up in the middle of the night with a voice, but if a voice was calling his name, as far as he knew, it was Eli. So he went over to Eli's room and 
knocked on his door and said, hey, Eli, I'm here. You called me because Samuel was obedient uh, to uh, the adult in authority over him. And Eli woke up and said, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. So Samuel thought, all right, well, Eli didn't call me, I guess. So they both went back to sleep in their separate uh, rooms. And a little bit later that night, or maybe it was in the morning already, but it was still dark out, God called Samuel again, saying nothing more than just Samuel. And Samuel, not knowing of who else could be calling him, of course, went over and knocked on Eli's door. And he said, here I am, you called me. And Sammy, or I mean Eli, he said, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. And so that's what happened. Back to sleep. What would you guys do if you kept hearing a voice and you were in the house with maybe your mom or your dad or uh, one of your siblings or grandma or grandpa, whoever um, is in the house with you and they were the only one there just one person there, and you kept hearing a voice saying your name, and they kept telling you that they didn't, they didn't call you. Something you could maybe think about um, as you're listening to more of this account. Well, third time, Samuel. And Samuel didn't know what else to do, so up he got, and over to Eli he went. Well, Eli, he wasn't the one that called him, but he kind of figured out what was going on. He said, I think it's God calling you. Next time you hear the voice, don't come over to me. <laughs> Instead say, speak Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel went back to bed and Eli went back to bed. Eli was probably kind of hoping that he wouldn't get woken up again. <laughs> and a third time, or I mean a fourth time now, Samuel heard the voice. Samuel. And Samuel did what Eli told him to do. Samuel got up and said, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And after that, God told Samuel um, all kinds of things about what was going to happen to Eli um, and his sons. His sons were not obeying God, and Eli wasn't doing much about that. Um, but then, as time went on, as Samuel kept getting older, he kept hearing from God, and God told him all kinds of things that he needed to tell the nation of Israel, um, the people that God had specially chosen to be his people, um, and he became a great prophet. A prophet is somebody who tells um, the people about what God wants them to know. And back then, um, God would usually speak to them in an audible voice, just like he spoke to Samuel, and would tell um, the prophet what they needed to tell the people. Sometimes, even God would send a prophet to uh, people that weren't in Israel, like Jonah w went to the Ninevites and that sort of thing. But a prophet told the people God's words. So guess what? Samuel was called by God and you are called by God and I am called by God. We aren't called necessarily in the same way Samuel was. We don't hear a voice the way that he did um, usually, but um, the Bible tells us the different things God wants us to do and one of the things God has called us to do is to tell people about him. Um, and you, uh, you can follow God's calling just by uh, helping people out. 
uh, you can help your parents. You can help them with like the dishes or, or even just cleaning up your room. Um, if your mom tells you to, if you're obeying your parents, you are following God's call for you. Or if you're um, reading your Bible, you're following God's call for you. God also calls um, people to more specific um, ways, like he called Pastor Lochran and he called Vicar Kyle. They were called to be pastors. They might not have heard a voice like Samuel did, but there was still a call there. And the best way to listen to God um, is just to read the Bible and do what it says. The Bible is God's biggest way, the most important way that we um, hear God's call to us. Now, Samuel was a prophet, as I said, and he was one of the biggest prophets that Israel had. Um, there were a few prophets before him. There were many prophets after him. But the most important prophet ever was Jesus himself. Jesus told us about what God, he told us God's ways. He, he even did miracles. But Jesus is the son of God. And the Son of God is God too. So God himself came down and was a prophet for us. So he's going to tell us exactly what God says. And there's no um, mistake that's going to come out of his mouth. But Jesus wasn't just the greatest prophet. Jesus did something for us beyond just tell us God's ways and teach us about God's laws and that sort of thing. Jesus saved us from our sins. Our sins are what separates us from God and what gives us the need for a prophet anyway. Jesus died on the cross to save you and me and to save your parents and to save Pastor Lochran and Vicar Kyle and the... Um, your other Sunday school teachers, like Mr. Tippett and uh, Mr. D'Amico, um, and to save your, your teachers, your friends, other people in your family, he died on that cross and took away your sins. So Jesus wasn't just a prophet. He was God, is God, and he is the savior of the world from our sins that give us that separation from God. So let's praise God. Let's praise God for what he did in Israel with Samuel. And let's praise God for what he's doing with you when you are learning about him and when you're helping other people out. Let's praise God for Pastor Lochran and Vicar Kyle who give us the word of God on Sundays or on whatever day you get to watch the video right now as we are in these very different times. And let's praise God especially for Jesus, the one who saved us from our sins. We love you. We miss you all. We look forward to the day when we can actually be with you and teach you that way again. And I just want to wish you all God's blessings. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I will look forward to seeing you next time in, well, I won't see you, but I look forward to being able to teach you next time in our next video. Have a great day.